What is up, guys? I am here with Pramod. Okay, and he's. We are here at a place of demo day, Hi. and we met a super interesting entrepreneur. Okay, we keep networking, and seldom we meet such entrepreneurs. What is RoboChef? That is the name. I of the don't know. Like he don't know. Nobody knows. RoboChef is amazing. Do you know what? Robots cook the Ro whole dish. Robots cook the Ro whole dish. I don't know. I yeah. don't know. I don't Robots know. are cooking, and uh, this guy is from South India, and they have had next level success. Let's talk to him. Meet Sarun and Sundar Murthy, founder CEO of Robo Chef, who has impressed us all with his cutting edge technology and very tasty food. A techie turned entrepreneur. Let's hear it from him. Tell me what is Robo Chef? So Robo Chef is the world's first and only fully automated robotic kitchen. That can automate the whole process, right from chopping the vegetables to measuring the ingredients to mm. cooking the recipes mm. to serving on the plate. The whole process is fully automated in such a way that mm. only thing that you need to manually do is buy the raw materials from the market, mm. load it into the hoppers. That's it. Lovely. So tell me the sweet and sour story of this. So basically, the biggest challenge for us was like, uh, like there is always a mindset uh, in in a lot of our student community and the current generation that. Robotics is only done by uh, Japanese companies. Huh. Japanese companies are only done by huh. uh, by European and the US companies. Yeah. So like I, we really want to have break that mindset and we we wanted to show that like even Indian companies can really build a global standard. And that like even Indian companies can really build a global standard. This is six years of research. So basically, we are right now cooking 800 different recipes with, okay. with no chef. Okay. And right now, like we are serving 6,000 meals every day. We uh -huh. run six cloud kitchens in Chennai. Six uh, loud cloud six, kitchens in Chennai. Yeah, six okay. cloud kitchens. Uh -huh. And uh, like we are actually serving 6,000 meals every single day. Right. So this, uh, you are one of the entrepreneurs whose idea became successful and it is running beautifully. There are a lot of budding entrepreneurs here whose idea is not so successful yet. Who are still in the beginning stages. And entrepreneurship, as they say, it's a lonely journey. Okay. And now that you've shared your sweet story, tell us the sore story that you had to go through before okay. you became RoboChef. So basically, RoboChef is my nine years dream. So like, it was not easy. Like today, it looks very glamorous. So over the last twelve years of my journey, I got bankrupted twice. So oh. basically, I was living on my wife's salary for a year. Mm -hmm. I did not uh, take uh, salary for two years. Mm -hmm. So I mean, like this, I intentionally did because, like, while I was in the US, I took a half million dollar salary. So oh. basically, like for me, it was intentional step. And uh, one big thing that I constantly believe is. Uh, you should never ever seek for others' approval. If you ask me one key advice as an entrepreneur, if you strongly believe it, you need to do it. That is one thing. And the most important, while, while that is there in lot of people, but like the, the direction is very important. So I, I, for me, there is one one key metric. One is when you talk about the successful business, right? One of the several metrics like I, I missed out in the past failures was. You should never get passionate about technology. You should never ever get passionate about technology. While it hurts to tell that because I myself a technology guy, the reality is you should always focus on business value. Because focus on business value. Always focus on only business value, right? Because like if you closely notice the best of companies, they were not innovation. A lot of people around you will clap you for innovation. They will only clap you. Right, the only point is you will be the one who will be in the middle of the road and that time you realize that business value is more important. It's the value so, that you are providing to your customer. Correct, correct. But only if they can take something out of their pocket and pay you, then <laughs> that is a validation for you. Absolutely. Nothing else. Because just because you have paid and just because you can actually do innovation, actually speaking, the ground reality is no one cares about innovation. <laughs> Seriously. Because while I have 24 patents, I am clearly telling you that innovation is an added value only. So Absolutely. the real value that you need to always think about is like make sure you bring you business business value. That's very important. And one more important thing is execution is more important than ideas. In execution is more important yes, than ideas. Yes. I heard this from one of the uh, IAM professors that as soon as you as soon as they stepped in for mentoring, they said ideas are shit. Yeah, correct. See, seriously, because I, 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 I mean, while that's a very stronger thing, yeah, yeah. Uh, like, but while while it's a very very stronger statement, but that is true. Mm. Because ideas anyone can have. Because I can still remember those days where while I used to like do consulting for a lot of companies, I used to think, oh, this idea I would have done it. 
but actually if i would have done it i should have done it right <laughs> so that's what it is seriously mm. so it's not just about idea right and mm. uh, I, i said execution right i have not completed that whole statement it's not just execution one thing that really took me to this level i will attribute to one single skill called speed of execution speed of execution it's, it's only the speed of execution because everyone can execute absolutely only difference is you need to be at a speed of 20 times faster than your competitors thinking about it so that wow. is the only reason if you ask me the secret it's speed of execution so on that note of speed of execution tell me what looks good and what is the future of uh, robo chef and what do you want to do in bangalore basically robo chef Uh, can totally cut down the the manual effort involved in cooking mm. so that means it's not just reduction of the cost it's about <laughs> consistent taste and hygienic food that's mm. the most important value that we bring in Absolutely. and you can get the beautiful tastier food at any time rather than really getting into uh, like uh, like basically not so healthy options you can always focus on having the healthier options anytime anywhere Absolutely. and at a much more fraction of a cost right. and most importantly like we can actually give it in matter of few minutes rather right. than taking so much of time right right thank you so much uh, sir for uh, sharing your uh, journey with us it was an absolute pleasure to have met you and hoping to work with you uh, soon and may the tribe increase thank you so much and like we are planning to run uh, like cloud kitchens every 3 kilometers in bangalore and all major cities we have already started four cloud kitchens in chennai we are expanding in bangalore thank you Looking so much forward. Where can we find you? Your Instagram handles. Uh, uh, so, basically, I am not on social media. Sorry okay. about it, but I am on Twitter. Uh-huh. I am on LinkedIn. Uh-huh. Saravanan Sundaramurthy at my name. Can you spell spell the name? Saravanan Sundaramurthy Robo Chef. You can search for Saravanan Sundaramurthy Robo Chef. I am happy to get connected with you on LinkedIn. I am happy to mentor any of the kids or the coming entrepreneurs. Thank you so much.